everyone, my name is Charmaine and I'm the dietitian that helps people reverse type 2 diabetes with plant-based eating and today we are going to talk about carbohydrate tolerance. So I really wanted to talk about this topic because when it comes to diabetes, a lot of times we only talk about blood sugar, your E1C, your carb intake of the day. We have so much emphasis on the surface, which is the blood sugar, the E1C, but we talk so little about the root cause of the problem like insulin resistance and also carbohydrate tolerance. So what is carbohydrate tolerance? Carbohydrate tolerance basically means your body's ability to process carbohydrates when you eat carbohydrates and still achieve a balanced blood sugar. And in this video, we are going to go deeper into what causes carbohydrate tolerance to decrease and how to increase your carbohydrate tolerance and how to help you still be able to eat healthy carbohydrates and still have a balanced blood sugar. So let's get started. So first things first, you want to understand that insulin resistance is what actually causes carbohydrate tolerance to be compromised. So if you've watched my other videos, you'll learn that insulin resistance is basically caused by a high buildup of fat in your cells that blocks the insulin receptors that actually hinders the insulin activity and that is what causes high blood sugar when your body eats carbohydrates and insulin isn't able to bring the blood sugar from the blood into the cells and that's what causes high blood sugar when you eat carbohydrates. And so insulin resistance is what is compromising the carbohydrate tolerance. And there's actually a test for this and that test is called the glucose tolerance test. So basically in this test you're told to drink a sugary solution and after two hours they're going to test if you have a normal blood sugar or not. And if not then that indicates that your glucose tolerance or carbohydrate tolerance is compromised. And usually that's how doctor can tell that you are insulin resistant Consistent, even before you're diagnosed with prediabetes or diabetes. And just a side note, insulin resistance can happen way earlier before you're diagnosed with diabetes and prediabetes. So that's why it's so, so, so important to focus also on prevention, especially if you are at high risk for type 2 diabetes. Now, what is the problem of having a low carbohydrate tolerance? If you have a low carbohydrate tolerance, every carbohydrate or every source of glucose that you eat will shoot up your blood sugar and in turn that turns into a vicious cycle of because you're scared that it'll spike your blood sugar then you turn to lower carb foods and when you think of lower carb foods those foods are usually higher in fat higher in animal protein for example things like bacon eggs things like meat those are all low carbs and that's why those things are so attractive to people living with diabetes because they don't have carbohydrates and they feel like they're in a safe zone when they eat these foods and it doesn't spike up their blood sugar. But what that does is that when you keep eating those high fat, high animal protein foods, those foods actually increase your insulin resistance and that actually decreases your carbohydrate tolerance. And when it compromises your carbohydrate tolerance, even if it's a little bit of carbohydrate that you eat, it will still spike your blood sugar because you are decreasing your body's ability to process carbohydrates. And I have many clients tell me that they've been on a low carb lifestyle for a long time since they're diagnosed with diabetes and once they eat carbohydrates it shoots up their blood sugar and that's why they stay low carb but that didn't really solve the root cause of the problem because doing low carb is hard your body naturally craves glucose naturally craves carbohydrates so when you do quote unquote give in and eat a mango your blood sugar shoots up and you feel all guilty and you blame the mango but all along the root cause is really because the way that you were eating eating actually compromised your carbohydrate tolerance and increased your insulin resistance. So how do you increase your body's carbohydrate tolerance? So two things. First, you want to solve the root cause of the problem, which is insulin resistance. And to solve that, a low fat whole foods plant-based diet is fantastic for that because it actually helps you lower the fat buildup in your cells and it helps the insulin receptors be sensitive to insulin again and everything will run 
run smoothly again. So first you want to tackle the root cause of the problem. Second is make sure you increase your carbohydrate intake through healthy sources of carbohydrate. And when I mean healthy sources of carbohydrates, I mean fruits, legumes, whole grains. And the reason why you want to do so and not just eat plain veggies all the time is because you want to let your body get used to processing carbohydrates. Not only to reduce your insulin resistance, but also let your body get used to processing carbohydrates. And that in turn, both of these things with decreasing insulin resistance and increasing your healthy carbohydrate intake can help your body increase its ability to process carbs, hence increase the carbohydrate tolerance. And if you're still on the fence about it, I have plenty of interviews with people that have done the same thing where they actually used to eat a low carbohydrate diet and they're still not able to get their blood sugar controlled until they get on this plant-based lifestyle and they're actually able to eat more healthy sources of carbohydrates like fruits, whole grains, and still lower their blood sugar and it's almost like magic. It's almost like their blood sugar is just falling off the more carbohydrates that they eat. So you can watch their stories to get more of an idea of how their lifestyle is, what their story is, and it's amazing to see what solving the root cause of the problem of insulin resistance with a plant-based diet can do. And if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to be able to lower your blood sugar and be able to increase your carbohydrate tolerance at the same time, then make sure you book a call with us. The link is in my description and my team can get on a call with you to see whether we're a great fit or not. But other than that, if you have anything else that you'd like to learn about reversing type 2 diabetes with the plant-based diet, comment in the comments section and let me know. And you can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok at reversing on plants. We also have a new podcast that came out so you can find us on reversing on plants podcast in iTunes and Spotify. And also please like this video if you enjoyed watching it. If you find it helpful, please like it so that more people can find us on YouTube and also make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And that is all. I cannot wait to speak with you guys soon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.